States across the nation are facing a wide range of challenges as the fight against COVID-19 continues. To take a look at how local lawmakers are working to keep their constituents safe, let's turn to California State Senate Republican Leader Shannon Grove and Virginia State Senator George Barker. Senators, thank you both for being here today. I'd like to begin in California because, uh, Senator Grove, I did see that you are part um, of a group of bipartisan lawmakers who are pushing the governor to really get things under control at your employment department because I saw this, it was just heartbreaking. I see that 1.13 million unemployed California workers are not receiving payments, although they may be eligible to be paid. What's going on there? So the Democratic lawmakers did join us on the Republican side. The Republicans sent a request back in April to make sure that the EDD uh, inefficiencies were addressed so that checks could go out to individuals trying to support their families. There is a bipartisan letter that has just came out, and we're glad that the Democrats have joined our side to make sure that these inefficiencies are corrected and that people can receive their checks. Federal dollars uh, require uh, 14 days to be for checks to be administered, and California has failed to do that. The governor's instituted a strike force instead of using the EDD audit that we suggested back in April to make sure that these inefficiencies were taken care of, and um, the governor is allowing another 45 days to address this problem, which means 45 days, additional days are going to go uh, will go before those uh, individuals that need those checks to provide for their families will be paid. Uh, just folks just sitting there waiting. That is just heartbreaking. Um, and, and Senator Barker, Virginia has a problem as well, dealing with a backlog on data, because I see, uh, according to the health department there, that you had a bunch of numbers, kind of it looked like an, there was an increase in cases there, but it may have had to do with a backlog in data. Is there a problem there? Uh, yes, there has been a problem with the computer in the Department of Health. And we've had, uh, so we'll be going along at a fairly steady number. And uh, all of a sudden, there'll be one day in which the number reported is much higher than that. And uh, what we found out is that uh, the problem is a problem within the computer. And for example, yesterday was a large number that was reported statewide. But many of those, almost half of those, were, uh, had actually should have been reported on Wednesday or Thursday. And so we're trying to fix that problem and make sure that there's consistency. The reports are getting done, and uh, the total numbers are reasonably accurate, but the day-to-day -day changes, and certainly some of the seven-day averages, uh, don't look right because of the, the uh, computer malfunctions. And, and Senator Barker, can you tell me about this app that your state is now using in Virginia to help with the contact tracing and just help, help, people, help people stay aware? Yes, uh, we have an app that uh, we just uh, rolled out on Monday of this week, I think Monday or Tuesday of this, uh, this week. Uh, you can download it to your uh, cell phone, uh, and if you are uh, within uh, six feet of someone who has a cell phone uh, for at least 15 minutes, uh, that will match up in terms of the information uh, of the, the the indications of, of what that cell phone, whose cell phone that is. It doesn't identify the person, but just identifies the cell phone. Uh, if then later that person you were talking to or whatever uh, has turns out to have a uh, positive test uh, for the virus, uh, then they will be able to contact the individual you and be able to uh, 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 provide through your cell phone. They don't know who you are, but they would send a text message to your cell phone Then you need to be tested because of, uh, of the, uh, the uh, positive test to this other person. Uh, that will have a positive impact in terms of reducing the number of uh, positive tests that we have, uh, the number of cases that we end up having. Uh, because then the person who gets informed that they were exposed uh, can can take appropriate action. Every and bit helps, just, absolutely. Thank you so much. And uh, Senator Grove, just real quickly, I do know you have some concerns about early prisoner releases by the governor coming up, especially this month. We only have about 15 seconds left, but I wanted to give you an opportunity to address that. Thank you, Alicia. The governor has released 18,000 prisoners into our communities. And, you know, you have people like Santiago Cruz, who was put in uh, prison for 125 years for arson and for threatening to rape and kill his wife. Um, so this wife gets on television and says that she feels like a victim all over again, and where is her justice? And so releasing these prisoners, the governor didn't take any consideration into the victims and the victims' families that will be affected by this prison release. And it's just unfortunate that the governor sees uh, fit to release these criminals into our communities. I wish we had more time to discuss all of this. Senators, thank you both.